How's it going everyone? Steel Scissor here, bringing you guys another TCG opening. I know I usually only have one per weekend, but with missing a few days being sick, and I'm still sick, I'm sure you guys will be able to tell. Um, I'm trying to make it up to you guys a little bit. We're going to do a pretty big opening today. So we have the Mega Sharpedo box, as you can see here. I think Target releases them tomorrow or today, one of those days. A little bit earlier than everywhere else. I think everywhere everywhere else they release April 7th. So I found them just a little bit early. Not nothing crazy, but you can see the mega camera up here too. The camera up isn't here. Somehow it fell behind the other mega camera. I don't know. It's there, trust me. So these cards are not promos. Or I should say this one is not a promo. These ones are promos, but they're still you can't use this one without this one, obviously. So it's not like the um the Sharpedo is going to be usable after this year anyway. So it's a little weird they waited this long to make these because Primo Clash is one of the next sets to be rotated out. Actually, it is the next set. Phantom Forces is rotated already. So Primo Clash is literally, quite literally, the next set. So um, these aren't going to last very long. So not sure whether they're even playable or not. I don't know what, uh, what each of them does. But we're going to open this here and see what we got inside. Let's see, okay, so the code is not behind either of the promos. Should be able to just get this thing out. A lot nicer than some of the other packaging they do. I will show you guys those in a second. Let me just get them out first. But um, they don't quite stick like other packaging does. Let me get the coin out here too, as the coins are pretty awesome this time. And I will get all the packs out here, because I'm looking for that code card. Okay, so here we have... The Sharpedo Spirit Link. I think um, there's a Camera Up Spirit Link and the other one too. So we have our code card here. As you can see, it does come with a code card. I will not be sharing it because I will be using it myself if I can even get it out of here. Goodness gracious. Okay. So obviously, code card. We'll set that back there. Then we have six packs. Yes. Okay. So six packs. These are pretty expensive boxes. They are, I believe, $39.99 unless you get them at Target. Um, this week, I believe they are $34.99 and, um, you could probably find them cheaper on Amazon, to be honest. I'm sure they'll go down just a little bit, but anyway, you can see we got the Jumbo Mega Sharpedo EX here. I will set this up back here and we will take a look at our promos real quick as I sleeve them up. I'm going to sleeve up the Sharpedo promo. We got, as you can see, it's not a promo. It has the Primal Clash symbol, so it is a Primal Clash reprint. So we'll set them back there. And then we have, I mean, I love this card so much. It's a very awesome looking card. We have the Mega Sharpedo EX. As you can see, it is a promo XY200. And it is an XY promo. So, something else that's curious. We're in the Sun and Moon era. Like, how are you going to give us X and Y promos? I'm not sure if the Mega Box coming out is going to be... Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be... X and Y also, because, um, I mean, I don't know, it just seems really weird, but we have the, the Mega Box, if you guys don't know what it is, it comes with like a Mega Lucario Full Art, Jolteon Full Art, I'm, I can't remember what they call it, maybe it's not called the Mega Box, I can't remember what it's called, but, um, like I said, Jolteon Full Art, Mega Lucario Full Art, Mega Manectric Full Art, and a Zygarde Full Art, so... Lots of cards that we don't have full arts of that people have wanted for a long time. So it's going to be an awesome box and I might even grab a couple of them because the promos in them are just absolutely sick looking. Hopefully they're textured. I think a lot of people are curious as if they're textured or not. I think it comes out in like a month or something. I'm not sure. We got Firo, a reverse rare candy, and a regular rare lantern. Hopefully, I'm, I'm kind of hoping for one pool per box. Um, and between those pools, hopefully one of them is a full art. Because I personally like full art a lot better myself. I mean, I'm sure everybody does, but that's the pools that I focus on the most. We have a Fairy Energy, Metapod, Gramble, Pokeball, Wingle, Dratini, Lillipup, Bound Sweet, Psyduck, a Reverse Rotom Dex, and a regular rare Palisand. So nothing in our Sun and Moon packs, but we do have an Evolutions pack, which usually gives off pretty good pools. Who knows, maybe we can... Uh, Get something, one of the sets that, actually I think the rest of our sets have a possibility for break. They do. Uh, Sun and Moon is the only one at the moment that doesn't have a possibility for any breaks in it. So we get a Pikachu, Ponyta, 
a reverse Machamp, that is a rare, and then another regular rare Duck Trio. Hopefully we can at least get a hollow if we aren't going to get any pulls from these things because we have gotten all regular rares so far. So hopefully we can get something here. But we are on to Steam Siege, one of my favorite sets as of late. I really do like Steam Siege. We got Holucha, Menke, Fungus, Bergmite, Joltik, Mantine, a reverse Cloitzer, another rare, and then a regular rare Yon Mega. So getting a little bit... uh. A little bit screwed here between these packs, which has happened a lot. Hopefully, we can just get one pool. Just one pool. I don't care what it is at this point. We got Persian, Greedy Dice, Monferno, Litleo, Sneasel, Meryl, Yanma, Fletchling. Hey, there we go. As we get a Talonflame break and the regular rare Armaldo. But we do pull a break. I will take it. Let me put it. I'll put it over here. And we have one more pack left, being the Fates Collide. But we already pulled a break, so whatever we pull now is just extra, even if we don't pull anything. So we got Loudred. I'm trying to get it to focus just a little bit better. I guess it's not going to. We got Wormadam, Pupitar. I don't know why we've had that. We've had this happen so much, and I don't understand. Um. I mean, I guess we'll flip it, but I know I'm not flipping it. I do the same thing every time. We got Bronzor, Burmy. Oh, yes, two breaks in a row. And then uh, I don't understand. You guys can let me know down in the comment section if you guys have had this happen lately. It, it happened yesterday, didn't it? I can't remember. It, within our last three openings, I know that we've had this happen to us already. So we get a Lugia break right after our Talonflame break, which is... Pretty awesome. So a little bit of a change in luck there. Let's, uh, you know, what? I'm going to leave this stuff here. I already showed you guys what the mega camera box looks like. I'm just going to open it off camera and show you guys everything inside. So along with the, um, what, what I'm calling the mega evolution box, but I'm not sure what it's called. The one with like those mega Lucario and stuff that I just talked about. There's also one that is coming that has a lot of like hollow promos, sort of like the Volcanian and Magirna boxes. Um, but they're all like Pokemon Go related, so they're all like Gen 2 um, evolutions and stuff, which is kind of meh. It, it's not really a great um, box because all the promos and stuff are just hollows. So unless I can find it really cheap, I don't see myself... I mean, I'm sure I'll open it at some point. As you can see, we got another code. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. It's a lot of money to spend just for some hollow promos that I usually don't end up keeping anyway. So, I don't know. It's not really my thing. Um, I would rather just buy another... Uh, buy another like, full art promo box or whatever. I don't know. We got the camera up, as you can see once again, from the Primal Clash set. And then we have the promo XY198. And I believe the spirit links are like 199 and 201. So... Um, That'll solve that. Actually, it might be 197. I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, we got the Mega Camera Up EX there. I think the Mega. I think they did a really good job with the uh, the Mega Camera Up and Sharpedo cards. I wish they would. Um, I wish they would have released them around Primal Clash instead of now, because Primal Clash was what two years ago now. I think it released the same time Sun and Moon did, just two years ago, like two years before that. Because I, I remember that was one of the first sets on re that I bought on release in a very, very long time since like base set. So I don't know. It's just when I first start, like when I first started to get on Twitter and everything. So it was kind of a big set for me. So you can see the mega camera up. Did I show you? I don't know if I showed you guys the Sharpedo coin or not. Whatever. So we're going to go opposite this time. I think we're going to open oldest first, which is Fates Collide. So Steam Siege, Evolutions. Sun and Moon. So we'll flip these upside down. We're going to go opposite this time. So we'll start off with a Fates Collide pack. We've got six more packs. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully we get one pool. I know we got two in our last one, but I still would like to get at least one in this box to make the box seem worth it. We got an Alakazam Spirit Link, Loudred, Dugong, Deerling, Carbink, Fennekin, Solosis, Riolu, a Reverse Helix Fossil, and a regular rare Snorlax, so nothing in our first pack, but we got two Steam Sieges. Can you give me a Full Art Professor Sycamore? 
I love that card so much. One of my favorite uh, Full Art supporters. One of the reasons why I love Steam Siege so much is because of that card. We got a Fletchender, Skip Plume, Tangela, Clink, Joltik, Ponyard, Fungus, a Reverse Shellos, and a regular Vera Probo Pass. Something else, we've pulled two breaks, so we've pulled no EXs, no GXs, um, and no hollows. So we have only pulled breaks as any kind of pull, um, other than maybe a reverse rare, if you consider that a pull. Um, no hollows at all is very, very weird. We got Anorith, Halucha, Duat, Drifloon, Seedot, Sneasel, Oshawott, Fletchling, a reverse Volcanion, that is a rare, and then a regular rare Galvantula. So it, it's happening once again. Hopefully we're doing the same thing and we save our two pools for the last three packs here. So I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. We got Poliwhirl, Revive. Can't even get a secret uncommon out of the Evolutions packs. We just have not been on par with the pools lately. We got a reverse Magikarp and a Dugtrio. Hopefully... That changes when we open the Horde because it is coming very soon. And I keep telling you guys the Horde update is coming. It is. It is. I promise. Um, I'm just, as you guys, you're watching this video, you know I'm sick. So I'm getting over it. And I want the Horde update to be a pretty long video. We're going to be going over everything in the Horde because I believe it is going to be... Oh, I forgot to do four. And, okay, I'll, hang on. So you can get, it's like poking me. Like the sides here, they aren't cut. You can see it's like really sharp down here and it's like super straight. I don't know. You can just definitely tell the right side is like not, it's cut weird, but either way, we got a Lapras full art. So this is actually really awesome because if you guys didn't know in SM2, um, we're going to be getting a water patch, which I believe lets you, um, take a water energy from your discard pile and attach it to one of your Pokemon, and it's just an item card, so you can use multiple in one turn. Um, so it's going to be a highly playable card, and it has um, and it has a secret rare, is what I'm trying to say. So it's going to be an expensive card, is what it comes down to, and it's going to make water Pokemon super expensive. So Manaphy already over twenty dollars, Palkia um, EX from Breakpoint. And the Mana Feast from Breakpoint 2. We had a Reverse Sandow and a regular Red Bruxish. So, like I was saying, Palkia is like 10 bucks or 7 to $10, something like that. Mana Feast is like 17 to 22 right now. Um, I'm not sure what Lapras is sitting at, but being a Sun and Moon card, it's something that people really want to try and play. So if you guys have any Lapras, I suggest at least keeping them until the set comes out and then a few weeks after until everything kind of sets into place and then kind of getting rid of them because... I mean, if you don't really play, I would get rid of your doubles of your Lapras GX. And um, what else? I mean, Ninetales is going to be a water type, but I don't really know if a lot of people are going to be using that over Lapras at this point. Um, even though Alola Ninetales is, or Alola Ninetales GX is going to be in it. Um, just something to keep your eyes out for as that water patch does come out. There are a few cards that are going to jump in price. I could see the Kirim EX from Ancient Origins kind of seeing some play. So there's definitely a lot of cards to look out for. Obviously, I'm no professional or anything. Just giving you guys a heads up so you guys who know more about the competitive scene than I do can kind of prepare for that. But like I said, with the Horde update, um, it's going to be our final Horde update. I don't think I'm going to be buying anything else. We're sitting at like 457 packs or something. I don't know. It's a lot. And there's a lot of stuff that I think is a good variety we got tons of older stuff and tons of newer stuff too so i think we're we're good where we are and uh we'll do one final um update and then i want to get that bulk sent to um send in for some guardians rising booter bo booster boxes so i can get them back in time for release but i don't want to waste you guys' time anymore thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video even though my voice is definitely a little raspy and sick but hopefully you guys enjoyed it and i will catch you guys in the next video